cooking at our house. I'm Connie Hampton. And I'm Dottie Phelps, and I'd like to welcome you to my home and to my kitchen. And we've got an exciting recipe for you today. And I know I say that every time. But we're excited. But I'm excited about it. And, and all of, most of these recipes are recipes that I just saw in a book somewhere and wanted to try. And I get real excited about it. So we hope that you do too. I told someone today, I said, we're going to film our cooking show today and they were like well, what are you making I said well a recipe that we've never done before and they're like you gotta be kidding and I said no you know we just learn also yeah. uh, Donnie and I did a recipe on an earlier show and it didn't call for salt right and we got the idea that the recipe needed some salt and we added <laughs> salt and we what could disaster. not eat yeah. it yeah but we were glad that we went ahead and, and tried it, and then we right. shared it with everybody the next time right. not to add salt to and, that And the recipe. reason that we should not add salt is uh, this recipe has cheese in it. Right. And the other one did too. Right. And your cheese is normally pretty salty. And see, I don't think I knew that so, before. Yeah. It, well, I did. So yeah. it's it's my fault that, yeah. that we couldn't, that that wasn't very right. good so uh, Dottie usually has a gadget yes. and actually I brought the gadget this time uh, I have a can opener from Pamper Pampered Chef and it is remarkable it's well remarkable that's good I've always been an electric can opener person yeah. and since I have bought this I never use my electric can opener anymore well so are you ready for the story about my electric can opener? I think we need to share that also. Yes. Because I, we I, showed that. Correct? Yes, we showed that. Uh, I don't know, it's been three or four shows ago. I showed you the can opener that you just put it on the can mm -hmm. and press a button and it auto it just goes around and opens it. Well, that worked pretty good for a while. <laughs> and I opened a can of tomato paste. I think it was the last show. And, I, and it was really dragging. And I thought... I don't think it's the battery. I think it's because that can is so the small. The size of the yeah. top. So I didn't put new batteries in it. Well, the other night about 9 o'clock, I decided I was hungry and I would just fix me a tuna fish sandwich. Well, I got my can opener out and I started to open the uh, can of tuna fish. And it clicked on there, but it wouldn't go around. And I worked with it and worked with it. I tried everything that I could <laughs> think of. <laughs> I couldn't get it to go around, and I could not get it off the can. Oh, my. So I got really upset, and I thought, well, thing to do is just go sit down a minute and then try it again later. Well, I did that. I came back, and like I said, I pried, and I did everything. I took a screwdriver. I did everything I could trying to get that Pry loose from that can because I felt like that what it really needed was just batteries. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. I ended up throwing the can opener. And the can of tuna in the trash and went to bed hungry well no I have one, I have one similar to this so uh -huh. I, I yeah. opened me another can of tuna yeah. and I even tried to open that can of tuna before I threw it I thought well if I can just get the tuna out I'll salvage the tuna right didn't work so I do not recommend that I don't know if there was something wrong with it or what but anyway I bought one for my mom Yes, you bought one for my mom yes. for me because you knew where you were. Well, what one. you need to do is to be sure and check those batteries before you think they're going to run out because I really think that's what the problem was. Oh, my. Anyway. Well, we are going to do a Tennessee corn casserole that's right. today. And another thing I want us to talk about, Dottie, before we get started is I got an email this week, and you might have been the one that sent it to me, and it was talking about uh, foods that are kept in warehouses and that those conditions aren't always good. That's exactly right. And it was stressing the importance of washing up your cans yes. before you open them up. Yes. And if you haven't read the email, you don't even want me to tell you about Because someone got sick, went to the hospital, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with her, and they finally realized it was because of something else, that's something yeah. on that can. Well, so, Everybody be yes. sure and wash your cans. That's right. So we're going to leave you with that hint. We're going to take a little break, and we'll be right back with our Tennessee corn casserole. Welcome back to What's Cooking at Our House. I'm giving Dottie a lesson on my new can. Well, it's not new, but my favorite can opener. And see how easy Are you it sure is? it's working? Yes. You'll feel it kick when you get around to, after you've gone all the way around. And after you get your top... Well, I around. hate to tell you this, but I've been all the way around. Okay, then open your handles. 
And here on the side are two little teeth. Okay. Okay, and you're going to grab it with those teeth. Well, isn't so that just out. wonderful? So you don't have to touch anything. Just oh, you know, go right. just straight through the trash can and dump yes. that in the trash can. So now you're on your own. Let me can let me try two. this one. All right. But it just, and you just sit it on sit I'll it on here on the top. Oh, okay. There's a little like so. uh, there's a thing there that kind of hooks on. Well, turn it upside down. Let me show you. You're trying to get this and this. Oh, okay. You gotta open it. I'm sorry. Open oh, it up. okay. That all right. That that'll and work. Kind of clamp it on there. Open your candles. Now, close them. Now you're ready All right, to twist. Alright, now we're ready to go. See how easy that is? You have to have some lessons here. Well, I never thought I'd have to have a lesson with a can opener. Especially for me. <laughs> <laughs> me who doesn't have gadgets. <laughs> but that's very simple to turn. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, open your handles. And then, then you take your little, and you're going to have to use both of your heels. Grab a hold of it. Simple oh, right. as pie. That is just, Don't you love it? Yes, I'm gonna have to give you one of those. Cool, cool, okay, cool. what are we doing here? We are making. We're Tennessee gonna put all this together, right? Except for the cheese and the chili and peppers. the chili peppers. Right. Uh, we're using two 16 ounce cans of cream soft corn today. We're using one egg. We're gonna beat that before we put it in. We're using a half a cup of milk, one and one half cups of Monterey Jack cheese, and we've grated that. Also a cup of Bisquick, two tablespoons of olive oil, and one five ounce can of chopped chili peppers. You know, um, Connie, there's something in that. I think uh, that was part of the I, paper from I my I think cans. it was, yeah. I, yeah, uh, it cuts little slivers here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, when I made this earlier, and uh, I thought, you know, you might could use fresh corn, cut it off the cob, Ooh. and you know, scrape it to get that milk out of there. Yes. Uh, you might be able to use fresh corn for this. Yes, so. especially now um, is a good time for sweet corn. Oh, the sweet, sweet corn, corn is, is coming, coming off. The sweet right. corn's coming off. Right. Okay, okay, next I'm going to uh, give you some milk. I've got the, uh, what did you, did you put something I've got, in besides I've got corn? The corn? I haven't got anything else in yet, but okay. I'm going to have to beat up the egg. Okay. Let's see. Now, Miss Dottie, we're using... Uh, Bisquick? Bisquick. Yes. And if you don't have Bisquick, is there some way to make that? You know what the combination is? Uh, you know what, Connie, there is. But right off the top of my no. head, I wouldn't want to give that because right. I, without, but yes, there is. But any I, I read it a, not too long ago. Right, any kind of a baking mix doesn't have to be necessarily be that bright. Right. Is, I guess is my point right. there. Right, but it, uh, uh, there is, there is a, uh, a recipe for a that. Recipe for that. I've seen that. And I've seen that, and it hasn't been too long ago that I saw it. So I will try to uh, look, look that up, up. and uh, maybe the next show or the next couple of shows, okay. why uh, I can I can give that to you. And there we've got our little egg beaten and put in the pot. Okay. And we've got a half a cup of milk. Got that right here. All right. Now, did you use whole milk, skim milk, skim percent? Two percent. Pink. Pink is two percent. Pink is uh, skim. I'm color coded, you know. I use I use skim. I use pink, whatever your okay. pink is. The bisquick. Let's see this oil. I need to get this oil in. Get all the liquid yeah, stuff I'm in. Yeah, get the liquid in yeah. first. And that is two tablespoons of the olive oil. Yep. And olive oil is good for you. Healthy stuff. Healthy, healthy stuff. stuff. Healthy stuff. A cup of bisquick. And bisquick. You can get that, uh, what is it, low fat, no that, fat? That's or? what you've got right yeah. there. Well, that's, that's <laughs> what I have. So. Is that what you use? Yeah, that's okay. what I used. Uh, I use Bisquick. Sunday morning is waffle morning or pancake morning at our house, and I always use Bisquick, even though sometimes Bill gets tired of that particular recipe, but it's easy. Yeah. It's fairly well, good. Well, if, if you get tired of the, the recipe, put you some uh, blueberries in there, strawberries, peaches. Bill Just Hampton wouldn't eat stuff like that. He wouldn't eat that? <laughs> Good idea, but not at my house. Well. Okay, so that's all coming together. Don't like nuts Very or nice. anything like that. Well, mm -hmm. nuts, he might go for nuts. Yeah. He might okay. go for nuts. Now, uh, that calls for an 8 by 8 yes. baking dish. Yes. I've we still got that. a few uh, lumps. lumps in here. I want to be sure I get all those out okay. before I do that. And uh, another little gadget, well, I guess it's not a gadget, something that we have here on the counter is another purchase that you and I both yes. uh, purchased from Pampered Chef. 
uh, storage cups. I actually I don't you know how cup. I got along with that. But prep cups. They're prep, prep cups. cups. Okay. Uh -huh. But you can put your half a cup, your three fourths of a cup, your cup of milk. Yes. Uh, and if you're not ready to use it or whatever, it's got a seal tight lid that goes right. on it. And these puppies are a necessity. They're absolutely they wonderful. Are wonderful. I'm, I'm really glad. And very I affordable, got those. I think. Yes. I yes, they, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah. So we've sprayed our eight by eight casserole dish, and we used Pam, of course, yes. like everybody else. And we're combining and mixing well all of our ingredients, except for the chili peppers and the cheese. And let's talk a minute, uh, Dottie, about the cheese. The recipe calls for Monterey Jack. And in the store, I almost bought, uh, I think it was hot, or was it spicy, Monterey Jack cheese. That would okay. give it another little kick. Yeah, that would that would do that. Or there was a Kobe um, Jack mixture of cheese. Yeah. So we could probably even do that, maybe? Well, I think you could. Uh, of course, I, yeah, Monterey Jack is one of my favorites. Okay, we got so it. So that, uh, when it called for that, I thought, well, I'm having a hard time getting but, this all mixed but up. this quick I, is just I not probably the, should use... Uh, let me let you me like the whisk. Use, yeah, let me use that whisk because okay. I don't I don't Break want any lumps in there. The yeah. dry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna work. There you go. But uh, I uh, I was glad when I saw that Monterey Jack on there because that's one of my favorites. We mm -hmm. got it. And actually, uh, I didn't find it shredded at the store. I had to buy a block of it. I did too. And, yeah, and shredded I, yeah, it. Which I did that too. was fun. That's fine. I got out my old salad shooter. Yeah. And shredded it with my old salad. I mean, that's a you long know, time. Yeah, gadgets. I had one of those. I've still got mine. I, I, uh, I didn't use it, so I think I've oh, I took use it mine to a yard sale well. or something. I do use mine Okay, I think well. uh, for half there's, the yeah, there's four cups, about four cups here, right? Um, when I measured, when I did this to earlier, I can't see that. Okay. We're going to guess. We're going to guess. It says to pour... Uh, Half of the mixture in the dish, and then we're going to add a layer of the chili peppers and cover it with the remaining corn mixture, top with the cheese, and bake at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right, let's see if I can do this. Hey, let's see what lesson you learned today, my friend. Maybe, maybe, huh? Isn't that easy? Yeah, it is. I was looking, I got a chef's catalog the other day, and it said free shipping, and I thought, boy, now's my, now's my chance. So load up on gadgets. Yeah. So I. Uh, that is just so cool. Don't you love it? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought. Well, I, what I'll do is I will just. Uh, I'm gonna drain that just a little bit. Okay. Cause that's that's lots of liquid. Yeah, it's lots of liquid, and uh, we don't want it to be too juicy. Now, of course, green style corn, it's gonna be a little juicy, uh -huh. but we don't want it too juicy. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna just take my hand and just kind of sprinkle this around on there. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That is a skin, uh -huh. and you really don't want that in there. That's a good idea. So we're gonna take it out. Chili peppers, different kinds of chili peppers, different colors of chili peppers. That's uh, true. Does the color have anything to do with the hotness? Not the necessarily. Mildness? No. Uh, the main thing uh, on these now these are these are not that hot. I don't. Uh, they're. Uh, oh my gosh, mm -mm. you're a brave girl. No, those aren't bad at all. But now some of, some of the those peppers are really really hot. Right. And you want to be careful if you're not you know. Well, I not, noticed you just jumped right in that can and started using your hands. I know some peppers are so hot that you can't touch them. Uh, with your skin. With that, your, that's true. They're handed. You can't touch them handed because they true. will affect your skin. Okay. Very good. All right. Now we're going to pour the rest of this uh, corn mixture on there. Right. And when you when you uh, put that in there, be careful. Do it gently so that you'll cover those peppers. It's not completely uh, right. If them. if you just pour it, it's going to just well, you've placed them strategically. Right. And if you were to pour it, it would move them around it, yes. and they're not going to be... Uh, it wouldn't be even. Right. So we're going we're gonna to do this. Uh, uh, we want to be sure that we cover them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Peppers smell good. Yes, I love they them. They smell good. I am. Uh, 
if you had gotten the hot, hot cheese, mm -hmm. it might have been too, too much hot. for right. some people. Right. Uh, you know, I like spicy foods, but some people can't eat real spicy foods. So just keep that in mind whenever you're whenever you're cooking this or anything else. Right. Just be sure that whoever you're serving it to can can handle. If you want to use the other cheese, which you certainly could. Right. Well, while Dottie's finishing up the corn mixture, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with you in just a minute. We're so glad you stayed with us. We're getting ready to finish our Tennessee corn casserole, and Miss Dottie has strategically placed everything, and now it's time to put that Monterey Jack cheese on, and oh, this is going to be so be good. good. Gonna be good. I know I say that about everything that we fix, but you know what? Everything is really good. Yes, it is. It's food, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, and I must say, and I I usually say this, this is very easy recipe. Very easy. And most of the stuff, most of the ingredients, I had at my house. Right. I, uh, the green chilies I had because I don't keep those on well, hand. Well, I actually I I said yeah, but I I had to get the corn and I had to get the chilies and mm -hmm. I had to get the cheese. Yep. Um, but we usually have the eggs, eggs the milk, the milk, biscuit, and yeah. the olive oil. Yeah. So yeah, I had all uh, that. It wasn't a, a lot to really go out and get, but oh, this is looking good. This is really going to be good. Really good. And, I can't and you know, there try. for a while we thought that we were on a carrot kick. It seemed like we did yes. a lot of carrot recipes. So we are changing everybody from yep. carrots to corn well, this time. We, we, corn is real plentiful right now, mm -hmm. and it's just starting to come off. And as I told you earlier, if you would want to uh, use fresh corn, just cut it off the cob and, and then scrape it, and that'll get that milk out of there, and that's going to give you that creamy consistency. Now, see, I could have brought some fresh corn, and I've got a gadget that goes around your corn yeah. cob, and you Does it work? press it down. Yes. Well, It kind of hooks on to your cob, and you just kind of push it down, and it has real sharp edges on yeah. it, teeth on it. I've seen those, but I... I've never, they're they're deadly, deadly, but they work. Well, now, you yeah. might have corn all over your kitchen, yeah. but they do Well, work. you know how to keep from having corn all over your kitchen? Nope. Get you a clean dish towel uh -huh. and just spread it out like so and do your corn on there. That way, when it hits that, it, it's won't, not gonna it won't bounce. So put, just put it on a clean dish towel. Cool. Am I not good or what? You are good. Okay, this let's, is ready to go in the oven. Let's uh, go over our ingredients okay. maybe one more time. We have used uh, two 16-ounce cans of cream-style corn, one egg that we beat, uh, a half a cup of milk, one and one cups, one and one half cups of Monterey Jack cheese. We grated that, a cup of Bisquick, two tablespoons of olive oil, and one five-ounce can of chili chopped chili peppers, and it's ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven, and I made one earlier. I'm going to bring it out, and right. we're going to see what that looks like. And there I think you you're going to just love oh, it. Love I, it's it, lovely. Love it, love I've already it. seen it. While Dottie's switching uh, plates on us, or casserole dishes on us, if you're interested in this recipe or any recipe that we've done in the past, we're more than glad to share that with you. You can get those recipes by dropping a self-stamped envelope to What's Cooking in Our House, P.O. Box 712. Dexter, Missouri, 63841, and we'll just pop that right back in the mail to you and get that wonderful recipe to you. And Miss Dottie, you're making me hungry I here. Know, it looks really good. And I, and I don't know uh, if you can get that. I can tilt it up a little bit. Yeah. It looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, with all that cheese on top. Can't go wrong. You, you know, if you wanted to get, let it get a little bit brown, now I did cook this just a little bit longer today. Mm -hmm. And it's again, it depends on your oven. Right. So uh, if you want to uh, uh, cook it a little bit longer or uh, turn the broiler on to get that a little bit browner, oh, okay. it will be very, very good. Now, when you cook in your oven, you add what, five degrees? I add 10 degrees because my oven is not calibrated right. I've started adding five to I mine. do 10, 10 degrees to mine. So, so. But we cooked this at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. You checked it, you went back, right. and just kept, kept an eye on it. And that cheese is so good, it doesn't want to cut. Yum, baby. This is going to be so good. Very good. Oh, I gotta get some of that. Get some of that good stuff. Get some of the good stuff. Very good. So, smells good. You wanna try it? it smells good. It's food. 
you know, con, she will eat. It looks really good. I hope it's good. Of course, those, those peppers are mm. a little bit different in a casserole, so that, that's mm. going to give it just a little bit of a kick, maybe. Mm. Uh, it's, they're not too hot. Excellent. So, excellent. It's pretty good, huh? Mm hmm Great. Mm. Great. Good. good deal. You're going to like that. I, uh, I love fresh corn, so again, if you want to use the fresh corn, mm -hmm. please feel free to go ahead and, and do that. Uh, uh, I like the uh, that peaches and cream corn Ooh, that yes. they have that is yes. so good. Yes. So anyway, I think that's uh, a wonderful recipe wonderful. for us to share. That's right. Dottie, thank you for letting us come. Uh, we didn't make too much of a mess today. Well, no, we did pretty good today. That's yeah. unusual for us. We're so, so glad that you all joined us. Uh, I'm glad Dolly lets me come and join her. And uh, until we meet again, thank you, my dear. Well, you're welcome. And look for our uh, some of our upcoming recipes. It's going to be Kentucky Blackberry Cobbler. Mm. And Kentucky, what's that other one? Pork Kentucky Chops. Kentucky Pork Chops. I think I've... Tennessee whiskey pork chops. Tennessee whiskey pork chops. So stay that. tuned, yeah. and we'll have another wonderful recipe next time. And we're going to have uh, coming up uh, in some of the other uh, shows is going to be chicken piccata, classic layered salad, and here's one: maple syrup walnut ice cream to die for. To die for. Until so, we see you again, stay tuned to what's cooking at our house, and join us again. Bye now.